Righteous Among the Nations. This is the title the State of Israel awards to non-Jewish people who risked their lives to save Jews during the Holocaust. A Ukrainian project aptly named Word of the Righteous aims to give a voice to these people and to discover stories that were not yet recorded. Precisely because of the persecutions during the Soviet regime, unfortunately, Ukraine is only in the fourth place by the number of these people officially recognized by Yad Vashem. Poland is in the first place. This is not because we have only two and a half thousand of these people. In reality, there are many more. It's just that a lot of people were afraid to talk about this and began to talk only from 1991. The project will include a documentary and a book of interviews with the righteous, as well as a photo exhibition with archival photos. It is supported, in part, by Ukraine's Babi Yar Holocaust Memorial Center. This is the only way to transmit the information about what happened from the original sources to future generations. These are great deeds. We have a chance to learn about it from the primary source. Everything else is through construction. Therefore, our task is to combine our efforts and to capture everything that happened through the memories of the people who passed through it. Historian Anatoly Podolsky says that these genuine human stories help disprove artificial narratives of history. When exploring the documents and these memories from oral history, we see incredible things happen to people. A man could be saving someone in the morning, and in the evening he could be a guard. And it is such a great challenge to remain human in inhuman conditions. The German occupation was terrible for everyone, and as one of my colleagues says, the Holocaust is a story of neighbors. When people who knew each other had to make a choice when there was no choice. For Felix Levitas, the Holocaust is a personal tragedy. One side of his family was saved from the Babi Yar massacre, during which more than 30,000 Jews were killed over a two-day period. Overall, historians estimate more than 100,000 people, including members of the Roma community and the mentally ill, were killed in Babi Yar. Levitas says he's forever thankful to Ukraine's righteous. You know, these people are so modest. They never show off and never even talked about this act of bravery before this project. They often answer my questions with, how could you do otherwise when faced with saving another life? And it wasn't easy. It's not just the rescue. They had to feed these people, sometimes provide them with medicine. The Jews could not do anything. Nobody could see them. The authors of the project have already presented several interviews and started a crowdfunding campaign to include more stories from Ukraine, Belarus and Lithuania. Svetlana Levitas, who did most of the interviews, said that there is no deadline. Our main goal is to record as many interviews as we can. If we have an approval of a person that he she is ready to talk, then we'll come and we will happily record everything. Uh, until we have at least one person to speak about the events, we will come and we won't stop. There are over two and a half thousand Ukrainians officially recognized as the righteous of the nations. The Jewish Council of Ukraine estimates that there are about 3,000 more. Giving a word to the righteous will help us know their stories. Artur Kornienko for UATV.